It's like scalding. Oh my god, oh. we can I come and coordinate like the pink in my shorts and the pink in your shorts? Oh jeez. I'm scared, what if I have to pee? <laughs> I'm not gonna pee in the bath with you. Obviously. You would pee in the bath with me. No, I wouldn't. I think that's disgusting. I don't even pee in pools. For the most part. Mo what do you mean for the most part? Sometimes you just have to pee in a pool. I have never peed in a pool. I've, that's a goddamn lie. You definitely peed in a <laughs> pool, bitch. Okay, okay, are you ready for me to apply this mask? Yeah, do it well, please. First of all, how do you even apply a mask poorly? Just like not in all the areas evenly. Ooh, it's like, like, okay, wait. Oh. Huh? <laughs> wow. Hey. Yo, so I think I'm gonna get my nipples pierced. Okay. Like both? I'm thinking one. one. Well, no, I was gonna get two, and then Jake the other day randomly, he didn't even know I was getting my nipples pierced. We were just having a conversation about piercings, and he like went on this tangent about how two nipple piercings is slutty, but one is edgy. That one? Okay. I know, and then I was like, damn, do I just get one? Is that bad? I've been spending so much of my time with Jake lately, but I don't know where this will be in six months time. So honestly, I don't know why I'm letting Jake's opinion affect why I'm only piercing one or two nipples. I should not be doing that. Like, what even are we? Like, these are my nipples. I kind of want to get a piercing with you. You should get a piercing with me. I Will you get a piercing with me? I'm kind of down. What do you want? Don't you want like your trigger? Yeah, I've wanted it for a really long time. It's edgy. <laughs> We're both edgy. getting edgy piercings. Okay, is it like evenly on? Um, I mean, no, it looks like really? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like on, but it's really not that Uh, okay. So like, dude, I actually need you to meet my side hoe later. I want to FaceTime him. Really? Yeah. I'm actually starting to kind of like, like my side hoe though. He told me he liked me the other day and I was like, damn. Oh, geez. Yeah. Get into it. I know. I feel like he wants to be my main hoe. Oh my God. A side hoe to me is someone that you value a little less than your main hoe. You know, someone to text in your free time. I mean, Jake and I aren't officially exclusive. So for me, I'm happy, I'm having fun. I'm just living my best life. This mask is like dripping down my face. It is, it's so gross. You've had worse things dripping down your face. Uh, you, I think no one's ever on your face. I've never let anyone do that to me. Damn, you're so boring. No, I'm not. I have this scar. We have a scar? Mm-hmm. You wanna see it? Where? <laughs> Ew, why are you getting up? Is it on your balls? No. Oh, okay. It's on my butt. Yo, that's, that's my side hoe. I'm psychic. Okay, fine. I'll show you the scar after. I feel like I should ignore him. Okay. Just to assert my power. Ooh. We'll silence it though. It's definitely weird for someone with a boyfriend to have a side hoe. I know for a fact that if I was in a relationship and I had a side hoe, my boyfriend would be f pissed. Tanner's relationship with Jake is more for clout. Like, this isn't a real relationship in my eyes. Okay. Look at the scar. Ew, no, please. Get your, that's literally, think about, think about this. Right yeah, but you're on your knees in the same bath water as me with your ass like four. Leave me alone. <laughs> Where's the scar? Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah, wait. You stop, Amari. Please put your ass away, I'm so unhappy. I'm putting it away, I was showing you the scar. Okay, but your ass is still, your ass is just out. Amari, like, you and I are close, but not that close. Right there. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, check this out. Yo, keep filming this. Keep filming this. Ew, ew. Have you been holding a boba in your mouth for that the long? The entire time. <laughs> what? The entire time. Since we've been eating, I've been holding it in my mouth so I could spit it at your stupid head. <laughs> <laughs> so, in all seriousness, what are you even getting pierced? Like, tell me the truth. I'm getting my nipple pierced. Nah. <laughs> you know that it's like for life, right? And you can lose like all feeling in your entire nip. I don't think you can lose all feeling in your entire nip. They said that about my nipple, also, like my nips when I got my boob job. And they're kind of still working. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Tan, I'm going to VidCon. What? Jordan loves to make everything a joke. I can deal with it 90% of the time, but like VidCon for me is such a sensitive subject. It, it just strikes a chord that nothing else really can. I I have to go this year. Like, to VidCon? Yeah. So you're invited back? Uh, 
technically I'm not invited. I'm just going as a manager, like with my other clients. That's invited. invited. Um, Must be nice. It's not. Yeah, damn. VidCon is a social media convention that is probably the biggest in the industry. Two years ago, I was on a, a show that was airing there with a bunch of other creators in VidCon and put my face on giant billboards and buildings everywhere. I really, really wanted to go. They wouldn't give her a pass. They would not make her a featured creator, no matter how hard she tried and begged. I end up showing up and obviously getting kind of mobbed by my fans because my face is everywhere. It was the most hectic Thing I've ever experienced in my life. There was so many people crowding her and screaming her name at every single area. She was getting bombarded left and right. There's a rule at VidCon where you can't uh, cause a ruckus and it's for safety reasons because there are thousands and thousands of kids there and Tana was not following that rule. We were kicked out and they asked her not to come back and to get kicked out was really, really embarrassing for her. That Rock. hurts. <clears throat> it hurts, I think it hurts me more because I have to go back without you, and that's a, like everyone knows that I was, I'm like not supposed to be there because of that. No, that just sucks. Like Whatever you year. went to TanaCon and now you're going to VidCon this year. Yeah, I mean it sucks. Um, and I apologize. I really, I can't do it. Like I have to go. Fair. It sucks. Fair. And I have a really good time for you. If he has to go, he has to go. He's a manager in the industry and that kind of stuff happens, but still kind of sucks. Dude, these are my last few moments without a pierced nipple. Gosh. I'm 30 in your Should face. we have a moment of silence? Yeah, for my nipple. Oh my okay. God, I'm guys. gonna put my nipple in your mirror. No, please. Uh, don't touch me! Tana, don't Jordan pull out your nipple, nipple in the car, though, seriously. No, 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 no. Did you just literally take your nip out? I was looking at her. It's her last few moments unpierced. You guys ready? All right, who's up first? That would be me. I'm gonna have you lean all the way back for me. So funny story. I would tell my friends in high school that I wanted this piercing so bad, and they were like, don't do that, that's so gay. I know it was before I was ever like out or anything, and I was like, you guys are so right, oh my god. And now here I am finally accepting myself for the person I am. A tragus piercing does not mean anything except you wanted your tragus piercing. Exactly, I feel so like ha ha, because here I am living my best life. Gay with the tragus piercing, woohoo! Like, yeah, I'm, I'm bisexual. Bye Bi with the tragus piercing, I'm sorry. I'm like, don't put me in a box. Are you ready? Will you hold my hands? Oh my god, oh, I'm already in. They're, they're frail. All right, relax your mind. You got this, dude. Oh. Here we go. I got a space, I feel like. Right. You ready? Oh. <laughs> oh man, I'm so nervous. Bitch, the needle's in my ear. I'm the one that should be upset right now. What are you doing? <laughs> feel my hands after holding us. <laughs> like, oh! Like, 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 it's damp. It's so cute! Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Right. I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Don't. No one understands. Remember, I understand. I've pierced each one of my nipples four times. I but completely your understand. But your nipples aren't sensitive. Actually, men's nipples are about 12 times more sensitive. Yours are for a function, for feeding a human being. Yeah. Bust it out. Okay, Jordan. <laughs> oh my God, it's here. <laughs> what? Did you just look at me directly in the eye? I swear to God, I made out contact with it. I want to be very clear. This is not regular for me to go to nipple piercings. This is not in the job description. If I was hiring somebody, I would not say, hey, listen, we're probably going to do some nipple piercings with clients. That's not a thing. I'm literally so scared right now. Ah, I just feel like this is real. I'm freaking out. I'm literally freaking out. I'm literally freaking out. <laughs> Oh, no! You don't understand! Like, what the fuck? Like, Tanner. Like, on the floor when you yell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so I need you to lean all the way back. Like, what he just did with that wipe has my whole body right now. Like, Alright, hold her down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I don't know. I've been wanting it literally since I met you. Why no touching it. What I need you to do is just, just be calm. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Big wow, deep breath. All the way in. All the way up. Ow! Oh my god! Oh my. God. Oh my God! Oh my God! Tana's screams literally sound like a thousand dying children, and I don't know how anyone in this shop is like okay with this right now. It's oh almost here. God. It's crowded. It's crowded. Push! Push! Is it done? No, I just gotta put the ball, and everything is done. It's through, yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put a little pressure here. You have some bleeding. 
<laughs> Not enough to call 911. Oh right. my god, ow! <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe you. Neither do I. Yeah, I'm doing it's okay. It can't hurt that much. I feel like the only people that will ever understand how sensitive my nipples are are people that f me. I'm gonna give you guys my card. I'm gonna give you an aftercare sheet. You look mad. No, you did a great job. Thank you so Thank much. You. I'm sure you, you haven't even seen it yet. I don't want it. You don't want to see it. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. And when we want to get her second one done, we'll come back. Yeah. If you're yeah. into it. If it's no, all, if it's I, really I may like not be here that day. I'm not sure. Okay. I think Ooh, that day yeah. I'm off. Well, just show me. <laughs> 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 what up, dirty sluts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's that bad? I'm fine. I'm really... <laughs> Obviously, you're not okay. Dude, I'm like so far beyond not okay. The only way it feels okay enough... Oh, oh my God. Oh, like the throbbing. The only way it feels fine enough to like not want to punch someone in the face is if I'm holding it like this, kind of. You have to understand, people with like broken bones aren't like, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, like, what? Amari <laughs> keeps treating me like I'm being overdramatic. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, have you ever heard the expression like moaning in pain? Like I'm like, ah. Yes, moaning yes. in pain. You know like, when you're getting too hard and it like hurts, so uh, you're like kind of moaning? Yep, yep, yep. That's like kind of what it feels like. Who's gonna be like your first like man to like see your to be honest, bouncy titties? I haven't even seen it yet, first of all. Are you gonna show it to your side now? No, I had a appointment tonight and I canceled it. I literally said, I think you don't want to me because I'm in so much pain. Really? Yes. Mm. That's so scary. Um, I'm gonna show it to Jake though. You're gonna show it to Jake? Yeah, Jake's like excited. He's like, let me see. So Jake's obviously like the one like holding the interest here. No, no, and not even that. It's, <laughs> the, it's the, like I'm closer to Jake and he like knew I was getting in. Mm -hmm. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But you are gonna show your side to at some point? Maybe. I haven't done anything like with the side. Well, with the side yeah. who you want him to like wait. No, but oh my God, these are like deep questions. A couple weeks ago in Atlanta, Tana told me that she hadn't slept with Jake. And now hearing that she still hasn't slept with him, like I don't understand why <laughs> or how. It's been like months now and I don't know if they actually like each other or not. Like they're a little cutesy and like kissy whatever when they're like hanging out, but behind closed doors, I don't really know if they have real emotions. Do you think Jake has I hope. I would want him to f other girls so yeah. that I can like hook up with other people and not have side have crazy like, feelings or whatever. Yeah. And we're both very like passionate people, you know what I mean? Like the other night got hot and heavy. <laughs> and then I and you still didn't f him? No, but like I was like <laughs> <laughs> God forbid you have sex. Yeah, but then what? Like we were like in love. Then you have it again and again. <laughs> so then I might care. Then I might be like, ooh. I've seen Tana like fall for someone really, really hard. So I don't understand why she's not letting that happen with Jake. Either means that she is a sociopath and she's literally just like acting like his girlfriend for control over videos, or she is actually waiting to like sleep with him because she doesn't want to get too emotionally invested. We have these deep ass talks where we're both like, literally we stop making out, we like pull away. We're like, I don't know if we should do this. Like, this is the moment. And Jake literally will be like, that it's all like 100% like real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jake and I are both two very exaggerated, like dramatic, crazy people who love to play into shit, who love to like, you know, make things crazy for our viewers and shit. So it is weird to decipher what feels real and what doesn't. When you're elevating the f out of something online, but you still really care about each other, you're kind of like, what's, what's real and what's not? And we just keep almost, 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 almost staying. Dude, almost imagine like, no, like with this tit, it would be like rip, 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 Dude, rip, rip. the thought of like my boob ever bouncing again is like a no-go for me. I'm in so much pain right now. I'm like handling this conversation well, but I'm literally sitting here like. <laughs> it's almost like it I got be. a boob job. Yeah, like if I lift my arm. Shut the f up. I'm like, no, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, it hurts so bad to laugh for you. <laughs> Remember really? when you were my dog for a day and then Jordan um, stole you? Yeah. Jordan stole you. You're supposed to be for me. Am I supposed to react? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, but you're actually crazy over right this now. dog. It's so annoying. Yep. 
admitted, I have to call somebody right now and it's for you too. Like I want you on this call. What, like some Instagram story brand deal that I totally don't have to be on the phone for? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Good. Just uh, take it. You're good. Hi. Hey, Tana, how's it going? Good. Uh, who are you? <laughs> so, hey, I'm Jim Lauterbach. I'm the GM of VidCon. So nice to meet you. I wanted to reach out and just invite you to be a feature creator at VidCon's 10th anniversary this year. This has to be a prank. Not like... a prank at all. You know, I know we've had a couple bumps along the way, but you know, you're such a big part of our community. You and your fans are such a big part of our community. We really want you to take part in our celebration this year. It's our Ew, I like actually want to start crying right now. I feel like everything that like ever happened was such a miscommunication and it was just this like place that I like wanted to be welcomed at like so badly. Oh my God, I want to cry. <sighs> thank you, Jim. Thank you guys. Jim, <laughs> thank you. I'll see you guys in Anaheim in July. I will, uh, I'll see you there. Okay. Like, that's insane. Like, that's actually crazy. Um, Dude, I really, really, really never thought that, that I still think it's a prank. Like, that, that, I still think that's a prank. Like, if, if literally a prank. in a day you were like, I hired that man to, why? Like, why are they doing that? I think that, like, it proves kind of that uh, the message of TanaCon was received. I knew this was really important to Tana and to her career, and I, I knew the opportunity to go back to VidCon. It's just an opportunity that I, we couldn't miss. So I put the time in, and, and we got it done. I want to throw up. That literally just made me want to throw up. I'm scared, too, though. Like, I'm definitely scared of what people are going to say, because, like, they were wrong, and then I was, like, really, really, really wrong. Yeah, you, like, you literally planned a competing convention to them, and now you're being asked to be a featured creator. Like, that's insane. I would have never held TanaCon if it wasn't for like what happened at VidCon. It would have never happened. It was completely out of spite and anger. So for such a big company to put so much behind them was kind of an honor. The first time you and I ever had a meeting, you said you wanted to be a featured creator at VidCon. That's like actually all you wanted. It's like all I've ever wanted. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so emotional right now. On the next episode of MTV No Filter, Tana Turns 21. Like he called me yesterday and I literally was like, Jake, this is the one time I'm not gonna be your bitch. Like, hang up the phone and call Jordan. I don't even wanna talk to you. If this was a business deal, just so you know, I would cancel this immediately and not go through with it at all. This is so, so, so annoying. I mean, that episode was dope as f like, don't you want to watch more? Maybe you should click over there and watch a few more episodes of MTV's No Filter.